Good day, this is my video log number two. Took some time since the last one, but I've been kind of busy these days and haven't really taken myself the time to record a new logs. But yeah, I made some really good progress with the game. Basically, it's almost done. It's only missing a menu and sound effect. And some background music, probably, if I find something. But yeah, the platforming and everything works. Score levels, the editor works perfectly. Um, uh, in the last video, I noticed the game ran like really slow, like 10 frames per second. And even though I'm using Delta Time all the time which means that the game should work almost the same even if it runs at 10 frames per second or like 200 but the case was that it was running at 10 frames per second and the character didn't jump as high as he should so I fixed that so now it works a lot better you can see I have some lazy ass background I, it's just a green to gray color nothing drawn I have a score uh, I actually had to fix my text rendering because I noticed that it FTGL is like really slow if you're using the wrong font type so I had to change what I was using in my framework to now it's using Pixmap fonts. So stay away from texture fonts, they're slow. Use Pixmap fonts. Uh, you can see the score is over the tile. Maybe I should put something white behind the text, but that's just a little thing. So the score works, you can go through the levels. These are just some test levels. You can do some nice double jumps. There's a s nice transition between the levels, the camera works, follows the player. Uh, the camera is, it's a really s simple, it's a two line of code camera, just keep the player always in the middle. Not really the nicest camera because whatever you do, the camera always moves. Like I could make a window, like something like that, and when the player would be near the edges of it, then the camera would move, but I didn't really want to put too much time into the camera, so I just made a two lines camera. Uh, also, if you fall down, you respawn at the top. It's a little quick, but it's a quick fix. I'm planning on making the level so that you can't fall down. But yeah, here you can see the press based sensitive jump. So if you do a little quick jump, you can get through it, but if you would hold down, you'll die. Also, there's the death animation. You go black. Pretty simple. I try to keep it simple everywhere. So the spikes work, coin work, doors. Yeah, this is the last level. As you can see, it doesn't go forward. I still have to put an end screen on it. So that's the game. Let me show the editor. Just like as you can see, I'm still switching in the code, but yeah. Now I have a grid. You can move the camera around with the keyboard, arrow keys. Making the levels works the same as before. Very, very, very simple. There, so up there, and let's put some spikes, coins. You can save level works, and test level now works. You can just click. You can test level if you can get to the exit if you die it goes back to the editor I think that's good uh, I tried to make it respawn at the start in the testing but I would have to write some additional code because the testing in the level editor is actually a uh, subroutine that runs the level and I would had 
I have to change a lot to make it work with dying and stuff. Oh, and also I implemented restart if you press R in the level, and if you press it in the level editor, the level resets. So that's basically it. I'll try to finish the game next week, certainly. I just have I just have to draw a menu, some end screen, and I'll probably implement saving so that it will save the progress. Uh, shouldn't be too much. But yeah, that's it. I counted the code. It's 2,000 lines of code. So that is uh, no white space, only lines of code. Which is, well, not really that much, but it's still something. It's, uh, it's an interesting progress, uh, project, but I'm kind of losing my interest in it because I'm really trying to finish it fast, make it simple, make it work. It's not really an idea I wanted to create because I have other ideas that I want to work on. So I'll try to finish this as fast as possible. And I think this video is getting too long already. Oh, that's five minutes, okay. But yes, expect to see this game in the next log also. But after that, you can expect some new things to show up and yeah that's basically it for this time I actually the game works much smoother than it was last time probably has like 30 to 40 FPS last time it was like 10 so pr I was probably running something in the background don't know. but yeah that's the game um, I'll post the game on my site when it's done and on YouTube link but yeah thanks for watching and expect a new log sooner than you had to wait for this one so goodbye